Hey guys, welcome back into Legacy. So I know I've been gone for a while. Um, this video has been shot previous. I'm going to just go ahead and uh, I'm going to launch it on my re my return date, which will be here in a few weeks. But uh, this will be when this goes live. Um, sorry, I'm getting harassed. Cat, come on now. Um, I want to talk about something that's kind of near and dear to me, guys. As the video says, paint the best model you can. Um, sorry, but I, I can't do this video from my face. Ow! Get your goddamn claws on my thigh. Um, man, that hurt. Um, and, uh, guys, what I want to talk about when I say that is I'm going to talk about some things real fast, that, and uh, I'm going to try to do this in a quick manner if I can. If not, you know, whatever. Um, guys, painting the best model you can does not mean painting the model that looks like everything on the box, does not mean painting better than everybody else, does not mean painting to look like, oh my God, I can't believe that guy paints that good. You don't paint for everybody else anyways. You should be painting for yourself. And so here's here's kind of the tips and tricks that I've learned. So I, I put up a model of uh, one of the, uh, I believe that's Death Guard models. Can't tell who that is right now. That might be Typhus. Um, without looking, I can't tell offhand. I'm, I'm barely looking at it. Um, but this is a really good paint job. This is done by one of the GW guys, uh, our Golden Demon guy. This is a really good paint job. This is what top-notch painting looks like. This is what every painter I've met wishes, most of them wish they could do um, for various reasons. So, you know, that that's what you get when you look at, you know, what you can do with a paint job. If you learn the tips, the tricks, the trade, you learn how to do everything. You really work at it. You can become this level of good, but nobody starts there. Nobody pulls the first model out of a box, flips it, uh, cuts all the mold lines, glues it all together, and starts putting paint to a model and comes out with this. Nobody. This guy that painted this did not start there, I promise you. Anyone tries to convince you that their first model looked like that, they're full of, sh the, full of crap. I'm sorry, they're full of crap. I'm trying not to curse as much, guys. It's not necessary, and uh, it's just they're full of it. They're full of themselves. They're full of whatever they're full of. It ain't good. Um, guys, this is a this is an active mentality among painters in the model community that your models have to look like that to be good. Okay, they don't. Okay, so I'm going to pull a picture up here in just a second. Uh, let me. See if I can reach my keyboard back over here. It's like I committed the site to do it. I'm gonna pull a picture up here. I want you guys to take a look at this. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna tell you something. This is this is something that I actually just painted. So uh, let me go ahead and share with people on that. I hate when it does this. It's trying to get me to do four videos. Uh, Okay, let me present. No, share screen, window. Okay. Guys, this is this is my Trajan I just painted. Okay. That is a moderately okay paint job. There's nothing special about that paint job. There's nothing that makes me go, oh my God, I'm the best painter in the world about that paint job. That is a moderately decent paint job. I don't kid myself into believing that I'm painting the best model that has ever been painted and never will be painted. That's a moderate, decent paint job. And the key to me knowing to it becoming such a decent paint job for me is two things. Sorry, give me a second, guys. Let me get back to my screen here. Um, there's two things. So first, I'm happy with the way he turned out. I don't care what other people think. But second, guys, I didn't even get as far as I am without, you know, work. I had to work at it. My first models were awful. Thick paint, terrible coating, not really understanding how to edge and highlight and wash and all the other things. I didn't really understand how to dry brush very well and all those other all those other techniques that you hear about and you read about. I didn't know how to do any of those. I had to be taught. Somebody had to come along and show me how to do all that. Okay? That is not something... Colby, get out of the way. That's not something that just comes up one day when you're when you're sitting there and going, wow, I can suddenly do all that stuff. You have to learn it all. Painting models is an art form. And like all art forms, uh, unless you're a savant, 
you're not coming out with the best models at the start. And even if your first paint jobs are good, they're not the best. And they're probably not gonna be the best you ever paint. So I'm gonna give a couple of tips, tricks, things that I've, that I've learned to paint the best model you can and to be happy with what you paint. And stop thinking you have to paint like this guy that painted this, uh, like I said, I think this is Typhus, um, this model here, okay? First thing, do not be afraid to ask for help. If you got a friend that paints or somebody that you know that paints really well or is a decent painter and knows the tips, tricks, knows some of the techniques, hey man, can you help me figure this out? I can't figure something out. Hey, what color would you use? How would you mix this color? How would you freehand this, whatever? Um, what color would you use for the edge? All those are questions that are valid when you're when you're painting that first model and you're learning that first model and you're really learning how to do this. You're learning it. Uh -oh. Colby, stop it. I'm sorry, guys. He's harassing his cat for now. Yeah, I won't let him mess with his other brother, so he messes with his cat brother. Colby, he doesn't like you. That that's a get away from me sound. Rotten dog. Um Anyways, guys, so don't be afraid to ask for help. People who've done a lot of painting, most part, are always decent and always have been decent to me about trying to help you get better. Because they understand that you authentically want to get better and they're willing to help you do that. Second thing you can do, guys, watch experienced painters on YouTube because you will find all kinds of things you never thought of doing. Uh, Trajan. They painted Trajan. Can't see him real well. Sorry about that. But Trajan, he's gold armor. I used zero gold paint on him because I learned a little cool trick with a speed paint from, I think it was Miniac or Goober Town. One of those two taught me this little trick. There's a paint in the speed paint one set called a Sand Golem. And if you paint silver as your base, base coat, and go over it with Sand Golem, you will actually get something that looks like a deeper, darker gold that looks really, really good. It looks really, really good. And it does. It looks really good. It looks really decent to actually have uh, that gold color without having the brightness of those gold. It's going to give you a more of a burnished gold look. I learned that from like I, about six months ago. I learned that trick six or eight months ago. And it's really important now because we get ready to paint custodes who I'm going to put together and painting custodes who are golden boys. Nothing like a little custode look. Um, and so that's going to come in handy for me because one gold paint can be really hard to paint with. If you've never painted with metallic paints, metallic paints can be a pain in the butt to paint with. Not all the time, but there's definitely moments where you kind of want to choke over thought metallic paints is a good idea. Uh, I've had moments with them, <laughs> but so I don't even use gold anymore. I use silver base, boom, painted over with sand gold and I get a really sharp gold look out of it. I mean, I can re-show you the picture so you can see what I'm talking about. Actually, let me redo that real fast so you can see that picture one more time. It's there's, let me zoom in on him. So that that's a that is a sand golem painted over silver on all that gold. That's all that is. And honestly, if I don't tell people that, I don't know that they'll tell that they can tell the difference. Honestly, I'm not sure they can. So. There you go. So that's, you know, go online, look at these people who do really good paint jobs and be willing to, uh, to take their advice. Take it to heart because they have some really cool techniques, really cool tips. They, they have some really good ideas about what type of brushes to use. Um, like they're, they're one of the people that taught me to stop using cheap brushes and actually get moderately. And actually one of the things they taught me was don't use expensive brushes, but use moderately priced brushes because expensive brushes are not going to do much better than moderately priced and they're going to set you just keep setting you back. So you don't need a $60, $70 paintbrush set. You can use like a $15, $20, $30 paint set and paintbrush set and be just as good. And those are all things I've learned from people on YouTube. So ask for help when you need it because people are more than willing to help most of the time. Look at videos, get the te tips, techniques, tricks down. Those people are going to help you. You'll be a lot happier. And the last piece of advice you need is you'll know when you're happy with what you're putting on the table or the, the shelf or wherever you're planning to display it, whatever. 
because you'll know when you're when you're ready for your paint job to be done. And it doesn't matter if Joe Blow, no, if Joe Blow, nobody doesn't like it because it's not whether or not he likes it. It's whether or not you're happy with it. And even if your model doesn't look beautiful, it doesn't look perfect, isn't the best painted model at the tournament or whatever, you're happy with it. That's all that matters. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to introduce something. If you've never heard this concept before, I'm going to give you a little rule that tournament people will tell you, especially if you're painting with like all haste because you're really close to a tournament. It's called the three foot rule. If, you're, if your models look good from three feet away, they're fine. If I can look three feet away and see Trajan and say, I'm happy with the way he looks, he's fine. There's no reason for me to stress myself out and do 10, 12, 15, 20 hours of work on him if I'm happy with two. No reason. And your life goes so much smoother if you just understand and you and you respect that. Respect yourself enough to be happy. And if people say, well, your model looks like crap, so what? Who cares what they think? The truth of the matter is your models may look like crap. But you know what? Are you happy? If you're happy, then that's all that should matter to anybody. Everybody else is a non sequitur. They don't matter. They're a distraction. They're, they're, you know, and by the way, there are people in the hobby that are complete prats who love to tell you how bad all your paint jobs and looks and stuff so they can feel better about themselves. Ignore them. I had a guy literally willing to fight me over the fact that I painted an entire demon of foreign army in 60 hours. No, you didn't. You're no way. You didn't do it right then. And I'm just like, shut up. I blocked it. It was literally that simple for me. I painted there. I know how much time I took to paint my army. You know why it only took me 60 hours? Because demons of corn have this wonderful thing called they're all corn red at their base. So you just airbrush them all corn red base and then you go over them with the other colors you need. <laughs> like blacks and blacks and bronzes and stuff. <laughs> it saves you so much time. Um, the guy got blocked because it didn't matter what he thought. I know what I did to work on my mind. I know how much energy and time I've spent on each model. I know what my models should look like and what I'm comfortable with. That's all you should care about. And that's how you're going to paint the best model you can. If you, if you don't, if you want to paint the best model ever, then you can get there. But you're not going to get there by listening to other people tell you how to do it. You're not going to get there by ignoring advice. You're not going to get there by not asking for help. You're not going to get there by not going out and seeking out better ways to do things or simpler ways to do things. You're never going to get there. Because like I said, painting is an art form. Art requires uh, perseverance, but it also requires that you do things uh, to make your art better. You know, people, even the greatest painters in the world, did, you know, the Sistine Chapel was not painted by a guy on his first day on the job. You got to remember things like that. You got to keep that in mind. And if you can keep that kind of stuff in mind, guys, You'll be so much happier. I really believe this. I think you'll be so much happier than you will be if you just sit there and you complain and you go, oh, well, nobody likes my models. Look, why does it matter? Do things for yourself. And I promise you, if you follow the little piece of advice, the little simple advice I've given, I really do think you can paint the best models you can. I really think you can paint really great models. Uh, most of the guys I see painting do paint pretty well. Uh, Bruce Lombardo is a good painter. Patty O'Cakes, uh, Patty is a really good painter. A couple other guys that I've seen paint are pretty good little painters. Solid. Uh, they're not Golden Demon winners, though. They're not painting for Games Workshop right now, but they're not bad painters. Because, obviously, they've taken the time to do their work. They've obviously taken the time to take the care to do things the way they want to do them. And they've obviously learned the tips, te techniques, and tricks that are out there that help them become better painters. And, I mean, really, is that simple? Anyways, guys, um, as always, thoughts, comments, questions, concerns below. I'm more than happy to address them. Otherwise, uh, we do hope you guys have a good time, and we do hope to see you guys around the game table at some point.